<laughs> Oops, um, I can see, I cannot really visit those plants physically. But as it is, I just got a message that I will have an online meeting about this topic. My name is Stefan Komonik and I'm co-founder and managing partner at Harcom Time Series. And today I want to introduce our latest project, which is called DigiHydro. But what is it all about? Due to energy transition, hydropower plants need to provide regulation energy at very short notice. And this puts a great physical burden on those machines, some of which have been in use for many decades now. And after all, that's not what they have been designed for. Four cooperation partners, coordinated by the Vienna University of Technology, have taken on the task to provide predictive maintenance for those machines. And in just a few minutes, the project managers will explain how this is supposed to work. Who are you? Please introduce yourself and your education. Hi and welcome. My name is Edward and my passion is since 30 years hydropower and it's working. My name is Johanna Schmidt. I am a computer scientist. I studied computer science at the TU Wien in Vienna and continued with a PhD on data visualization afterwards. Hello, my name is Alfred Schübel and I'm founder of Vibro Concept GmbH. I studied communication engineering at the Technical University of Vienna. I'm Ricardo Wickert. I studied theoretical physics. I did my PhD in quantum optics and I now head the R&D department at Hakum Time Series. What does your organization or department do and what is your particular task? Hakum develops a time series management framework that enables developers and data scientists quickly and efficiently deal with all the aspects related to storing, processing or distributing time series data. And my department, the R&D department, uh, we explore new ways to make this technology even more flexible or powerful, as well as investigate new applications that also involve time series data. I'm a researcher at the University of Technology in Vienna in the uh, Faculty of Mechanical Engineering and Department of Fluid Flow Machinery and dealing with hydraulic machinery and its belongings. Uh, Vibro Concept is dealing with vibration monitoring projects in all aspects of the industrial market. So from small monitoring units to plus 1000 channel systems, we provide a concept on how to do this. The VIAVIS is a research center with a special focus on visual computing, so how to visually represent data on the computer. And I'm the head of the research group Visual Analytics. As it's all about our Digi Hydro project, please tell me what are the overall goals of the project? Um, the overall goals of Digi Hydro are bringing together digitalization and lifetime prediction of hydraulic turbines. Means the mechanical parts, the domain knowledge and the data processing in the terms of digitalization. Thank you. How did you come up with the idea to create this project? This project is a part of a research project series. We did already research projects on the mechanical side. And at the last project, we saw that data processing is a big issue. So data visualization, harmonization and validation uh, is part of this new DigiHydro project. Perfect sense. And why is it now the right time for such a project? We have the resources. Uh, we need some new methods. And uh, this is exactly what research does. It's a trial and error, and I think it's the right time now to try it and to be successful. So let's talk about the setup of the project. How did you choose these partners for that particular project? Looking at the partners in this project, we have partners on the domain side, we have partners on the sensor side, we have partners now on the data harmonization side and uh, on the data visualization. So they were selected for their experience in this particular field. Was it easy to onboard the partners? Actually, yes, it uh, was not uh, a big issue because every partner was really motivated and um, saw the issues and challenges. And yeah, it was not really particular hard to convince them. Very good. Um, now with respect to your own organization, was it easy to get everybody on board in your organization? This is sometimes more challenging than getting external partners to get all the permission and permissions and rules. And um, yeah, but uh, finally 
the university is experienced in setting up um, research projects and therefore you have to follow some rules, but it's, it's, it's not a problem. Uh, yes, there was uh, both from management, but also from the developers, a lot of enthusiasm in seeing what our technology can contribute to such an undertaking. Yes, so we are definitely interested in new application areas for data science and data analytics. And this is a very exciting possibility for us. It was very easy. We are only two people, so this is not a big problem to convince my partner about this nice project. Okay, let's talk about the challenges of the project. Uh, what do you think are the main challenges from an overall perspective? I see the main challenges in combining these different fields of expertise and to have an overlook on the goal of lifetime prediction, digitalization, and to bring all parties together to go in one direction. What are the particular challenges and the impact for your organization? The main challenge is the amount of data that we have to handle, because if we have measurements over a long time period, then a lot of data will be collected. And we will learn a lot on how to deal with large amounts of sensor data. The main challenge is dealing with uh, a power plant that is connected to the grid. So it's a live operation in a very critical environment. And we have exactly one chance to get it right and collect all the data. But this also helps us improve on the operational side for carrying out such projects in this type of infrastructure. The biggest challenge is to fit the project into the daily business. As we are a small company, as I mentioned, the impact has to be well planned if we do the measurements over a week or more. What do you think will be the impact of the project on your organization? I see the biggest chances and the biggest impact on the organization to get more known on this kind of uh, evaluation of lifetime prediction to be able in the future to offer this kind of services to other operators. It will give us the possibility to explore a completely new application area, the analysis of sensor data from hydropower. The main impact is that we're going beyond what we usually did with power consumption time series into a domain that involves sensor readings connected to a couple machines, to complex machines. So it makes our framework more generic to other future applications such as IoT and wearables and other, other sectors. And in order to cope with the data volume and the different formats that are coming from those sensors, we have to develop more flexible connectors and also improve the overall performance of the system. So this is something that, of course, all customers will benefit from. The biggest impact is, of course, that uh, we will strengthen our, our competence on the service sector and are able to provide complex measurement tasks in the future. And uh, what is particularly appealing to you personally about this project? I'm a Hydro fan since the beginning when I started this business in 1994. So improving this fascinating technology is the motivation for this project. So for me personally, I'm very interested in the hydropower machines and how they work because I've never seen such huge turbines in, in reality and, and how they operate. And so to be able to visit the places where we are going to do the measurements is very exciting for me. And on the other hand, also to see the operation in the data. So to see how the machine uh, operates, which patterns we can detect in the data, that's, that's very interesting for me personally. Personally, I'm really interested in getting more knowledge on digitalization and to step deeper in this data harmonization, visualization, and of course, again, back with my domain knowledge to validate and um, to evaluate the results out of this uh, digitalization process. I think it's again the, the sheer amount of data and the idea that hidden in this huge haystack, if we, if we want to put it this way, there is a needle somewhere which is the valuable information that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. And you can only find this if you have a proper structure and a proper way to explore the data with the right tools. And this is where data management plays a central role. And I'm very excited to be part of enabling this. Finally, why will the world be a better place after this project? I think that um, energy productions like hydropower and also solar energy and wind energy will be more important in the future. And if we can uh, contribute to that by uh, providing 
data providing measurements on how to better operate those machines, I think we can help a lot in producing green energy in the future. Um, thank you for this really good question. I was thinking really long about this. Um, finally, I think we make the world better because we try to use the resources better and uh, longer and therefore we need maybe less of uh, material and other resources to, to keep electricity production running. Yeah, I believe it will be a better place because we are able to use the limited resources now available to produce energy in a more efficient way. So this will help us to produce more energy with the same amount of machines and water and so reduce the CO2. Hydropower is one of the cleanest forms of energy available to us. And by ensuring that these power plants run as smoothly as possible, we contribute to the stability and the efficiency of the energy system as a whole. So thank you very much and all the best for the project. Thank you so much, Stefan. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Same to you. Bye bye. So as you can see, that's the perfect setup for this task. Highly specialized organizations join forces, each with their key expertise. But apart from their high level of know-how, there's one thing they have in common. They are passionate about what they are doing and are convinced that they make a valuable contribution to the energy transition. We will continue to follow the project and will report here on the progress and the remarkable results. If you liked today's session, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please also follow us on our website, LinkedIn and Twitter. And do not forget, life is a time series.